everybody? Welcome back. We're at Second Sense Auction Hall, one of my favorite places in the world. My name is Robert Zabo, auctioneer extraordinaire, and today we're going to go over some of the items that we found in the hoarder house, and we started displaying them this way you guys can see. We took them from the hoarder house, and we're going to bring them here to the auction hall. We've cleaned the items up, got them ready for the auction, and starting to set them up, and that auction is going to be in about two, two and a half weeks or so. Uh, so we're going to start over here, and if you guys watch the hoarder videos, you're going to see some of these items. And for example, here's one of the globes that we found. Very sweet. Very nice base on there. That's what makes it unique. And then there's items in the house. Unfortunately, we had uh, some video that we lost, and you guys didn't get to see all the items that we pulled out of the house. But here's an example of one of the items. There's a whole thing full. This is a plane, a combination plane. And old planes like this, they're usually marked up here on the front. I don't know if you'll be able to see that on the camera, but they're marked right here. And that's the name of the company. Here, let me put a little, see that? And that's who made this wood plane. This plane is turn of the century. And then I know you guys probably remember this beautiful lamp we got from the hoarder house with the Tiffany style lampshade. And of course, who will forget? The brand new vintage Honda motorcycle tank. Never used, new old stock. Here's another piece I don't think we got to see. It was a brand new old stock cockpit. Little uh, piece here. And uh, by VDO. And this has your speedometer. It goes up to 160 miles per hour. Then we have these more of these old planes here. And then if you guys remember, up in the attic, we found this pipe right here. And we put it back on the toy. This is the pipe that I was missing. And this is a nice vintage German steam operated toy. And uh, you would heat it up. You'd actually put a little fire in here. You'd put water in here. It would heat up, steam up. It had a whistle here that you could actually blow the whistle. This turbine would move here and move gears. It had a belt drive. This thing would spin around in circles. And you could adjust the different pressure and everything else. So it's a very cool old, old toy. German made. And if you remember the ship in the bottle, look at how nice and beautiful that cleaned up. So you got the little ship in the bottle. It is marked on the bottom here. And then I know the people didn't see these because one of the things that, that we missed in the video, but these are in the house. And one was super clean, the other one was really dirty, but they were on top of each other like this. So, but now you look at them, they both work, they light up, vintage strows, by 1960s advertising pieces. Here's the other tank that we got up in there, we cleaned up the best we could. You know, it's an old tank, it does have a big dent in there, but someone might use it for decoration, or they might actually get all the dents out and use it and put it on a bike. And I know a lot of you out there contact me about this. Cool little tiny milk container, we believe. So that'll be up in the auction. And if you guys remember when uh, Joe and I were singing on our drum songs that we don't want to work and still play on our drums, well, here's that Ludwig drum, 19, I think, 63 or so. But it was filthy. And I just want to look at how shiny. This is my guys working to get stuff clean. This is what we do. We take things out, we restore them, we get them as best as possible, and whatever we don't want to do or can't do, we sell it and then it gets on to the next level and gets back into the hands of someone that could reutilize this. And this snare drum, we pulled it from the attic, saved it from going to the trash, and now somebody might be out there drumming away someday or in a band, and they might be a famous rock musician or something, all because of this drum that we saved. This box we pulled out from the first floor, nice old wood box with a mirror. And then uh, I know I've been contacted, I believe, about the tube tester that we found. I know a couple people asked me. It's going to be coming up in auction right there. This is the old one of the microscopes that we found. That's going to be coming up in the auction. Original case. There's the fish cooler that Joe and I found. We put some stuff in there to bring it down. And then this, 
I know you guys never got a chance to see this. We lost that video, but this was in the house. It's an RCA Radiola number 60, and it looks like it's in extremely great condition. You would, uh, this was the radio of the time, and then you would hook a speaker up to this, and a lot of times you'll see a circular speaker that's by itself very ornate, 1920, 1915, 1925, that area. Um, Art Deco style, beautiful piece of furniture. Basically, that's what it was, because the radio, I mean, it was big money. That's like today, buying a curved TV, HD, 70 inch, high def, blah, 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 top of the line thing, that's, that's the top of the line back in the day. And we're moving down here. Um, I know people asked about these, so old Volkswagen parts here. This little trans receiver we found up there, and then I ended up finding the, the headpiece for it. Here's the earpiece, and then there's some kind of button, so I don't know if that would turn on and off. This cuckoo clock, I know you guys didn't get to see that, but we pulled that out of a drawer on the first floor. Unfortunately, that video was lost, but this cuckoo clock was in there with these weights. These antique symbols here, well, antique, but at least probably 1960s, probably same time that drum, but really old symbols, heavy. And then Joe and I, when we found this piece, remember up in the attic, we cleaned it all up. The nice little half minute freezer. I'm assuming you make ice cream or something quick out of there, and you'd put it in there, and then this would turn, and they would let it out and spin it out for you. And I know I've been contacted. And then we have this mid-century modern bread box here. Um, look at how shiny we got it. Nice and clean. Open it up. This will be in the auction coming up. Oh, sorry. I got to lock it. Let's see. I got to turn it this way. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, I see the lock. There it goes. And there's the lock on it. And then a few things down. Uh, we got all these antique pictures over here. Wood framed. Hand drawn some of these. We got these in the auction to clean up the best we could on the frames. And once again, that beautiful, happy couple that we talked about. And the patriarch of the family. And then this is our one of the part five video. We pulled this off the wall in the basement. I mean, the first floor. And the little girl sitting there. And, I mean, it's really a unique piece. The old frame on it. And then... A few other things that you guys didn't get to see when we pull that old radio i got this old radio over here we clean this up this is an old philco and it's a really interesting type of radio because let's see here I'm trying to remember how this uh this part will open up yeah this is how it goes like this Look at this. That's how you would get the record. In there, you close that up. And this pops open like that. And this is an old, old style record player by Phil Coat. We found. I know you guys probably remember when we found this the old 8 track player. And then one of the things that you guys never got to see was I found an old fishing box, that tackle box over there. And in that tackle box, we had all kinds of cool things. And here's a few of the old reels. That's a Shakespeare right there. This is a Abu Garcia. Ambassador 2000. These are both 1950s, 60s reels. All kind of old tackle. Here's some more old reels that we found. These are fly fishing reels. And then, I know you guys probably remember, this is a crate that we pulled from the first floor in the one bedroom. 
and it's rocket ammunition explosive projectile crate. So RPGs right here. Nice old wood crate. It's got the rope handle and it helped us carry a lot of stuff out of the house. And I just want to show you this tackle box real quick. I didn't take any of the tackle out. But a lot of vintage pieces in here. All the reels were down in the bottom part of the tackle box. So I took those out. And then a couple pieces that were tangled up. That's the little pieces that you'll see out there I undid. And this is just the stuff that we went into the antique auction. I remember this big bottle from the attic. These are just items that we got from the antique that we put out for the antique and collectible auction. What I'm going to do now is going to go over and show you some of the stuff that we got that's brand new stuff that we haven't put out yet. Hey everybody, how we doing? We're back over here on the other side of the building here. I'm looking at Second Sense. More stuff that we got from that Hoarder House Treasure Fund. So in that house, I know you guys seen a lot of the stuff and uh, we're going to go through a few items. I mean, I know a few people contacted me about this Euro Pro. These are brand new items over here. So we're going to try to get them in the next uh, auction come up before Christmas time, sometime probably in November, um, early December, because a lot of these items, new items, we figured be good for Christmas time. Um, we have brand new lamps here. I mean, brand new Coleman gas lantern. The Dan and Record player we're going to try to get probably in that maybe put in the antique collectible auction. And then we had all kind of brand new things like this little Wallace clock here. Table clock. And we had <clears throat> brand new light fixtures in the box. And then don't forget we had this beautiful, awesome sewing machine. The only issue we really seen was this. But you know, it has a little bit of damage on the top, but the sewing machine itself is in great condition all the drawers open up nicely it has the original singer drawers you can see right here it says singer right on the drawers and it has the beautiful cast iron ornate base and uh take out the base here and this little pedal machine here now take the top off you guys remember you get a little better look than we had in that porter house with the gold leafing on there and the lettering, everything's in such beautiful condition. Very pristine. And then, if, I mean, you even got the wood, old thread on there. And if you look down here, you have the patent dates. It's going to be tough to focus on camera. We'll try to focus on the patent dates for you there. But yeah, all these patent dates. Looks like the last one on there is July 19th, 1887 was the last patent date. 1887. So, nice antique sewing machine. And then, don't forget, we did get this antique little cedar chest it is missing the bottom wheel but it's a beautiful cedar chest top does have a little bit of damage but still doesn't take away from the character and then we have things like the magic bullet brand new in the box and we moved the box it got a little damage there it is brand new in the box never used but you know, we'll have to reorganize it all the back. Got shipped around a little bit. All this stuff just sitting there brand new. And once again, second sense, what we're about here is that we give things a second chance. We give things a second life. And like I said, a lot of this stuff, if we didn't take it out of there, it would all be going to the trash. And it just breaks my heart to even think about all this great stuff going to the garbage and people that can utilize it. And, um, you know, everything from three pieces of brand new luggage, all in one thing right here, brand new paper cutter, brand new little organizers, and of course, brand new support steam. All kind of cool brand new things that people can use. And like I said, it would end up in a landfill somewhere and we give stuff a second chance and that's what we're about and that's why we started the company originally. And you know, 
This goes with the Euro Pro accessory kit. We got chef's pots, blenders, and mixers, and all kind of new stuff. And then we also have all these records that we got from there. 45 records, tons of 45s, regular records. And uh, we haven't gone through the records yet, but I'm sure, you know, Rory Gallagher. I mean, everyone likes Rory Gallagher, but we had all kind of other brand new stuff they got out of there too. And I'm going to take you to show you a few other items that we got that were brand new. Auctioneer extraordinaire, Robert Zaber right here. And here's some more stuff that we got from that hoarder house. Um, and here, one example, it's a Tiffany style lampshade, brand new in the box. I'm just going to show everybody here. And this thing, I haven't got a chance to pick it out. I don't know how much I can get out of it, take out of it. But I just want to show everyone how ornate and beautiful this piece is. And this is just sitting up in that attic of the hoarder house. And it's got the jewels in there, just like Tiffany style. And there's the dragonfly. Classic Tiffany dragonfly lamp. And let me see if I can light it up a little bit here and make it a little bit better for you guys to have a better view of it. Because I hate to take it out of the plastic. There's a dragonfly. How's it look? And all the gem. I mean, look how beautiful that is. That was a real Tiffany lampshade. I'm sure it'd be probably worth twenty, thirty thousand dollars, maybe more. But since it's a reproduction, the last one I had was a whole lamp, not just a lampshade, and I believe it sold for around two hundred fifty, three hundred dollars. So I know it has value, but. That was the great thing about this hoarder house is we're up in the attic and it's just like mining for gold or treasure hunting, finding whatever kind of treasure you want to find. But it's just like, boom, $100 here, $50 there, $25 there, and it just adds up $200, $300. And people are like, you know, like this item here, it's a great item. This globe here, not as great, but still people like old globes. It has a nice axis that turns everything else, and this needs a little tighten up on the base. For something like that, we give it a second life. Here, we talked about this. Joe and I might add the time clock in here at Second Sense. This way, we know everyone's showing up on time. And then, a few other cool, neat new things that we found. A little brand new set of air horns. Like I said, all this stuff's going to be up for auction at Second Sense. So just keep watching the website. I found like this brand new gold series little model kit put together. Also found uh, with these little vintage pieces here, precision wheels. And these are old, old roller skate wheels in the original boxes. The boxes, I mean, look at this, figure and dance wheels. <laughs> so you're out there figure skating or dancing, they ain't call it roller skates yet, all these old wheels and stuff. So I thought the boxes are really cool. Someone out there would put them up for display. And then, another unbelievable piece that we found up in the attic. I don't know if it ever got on film, so I'm not sure, I don't remember seeing it in the videos. But this right here, I know some of you people out there will know what this is. But this is a beautiful, Real to real player. And this is a high quality. This is a great brand name right here. I don't want to mispronounce it. Ikea, Ikea, Ikea. I don't know. Ikea. Ikea. But on this real to real, this piece here could be two, three, maybe up to $400. This real to real. But guaranteed $150 at least. It's going to be $150 real to real all day long, maybe more. And uh, I mean, the condition on it looks really, really nice. I mean, yeah, the cover just comes off, but. This part, so clean. A lot of times I get these, they're not in this kind of condition. So, lots of great things that we got out of that place. I mean, just another brand new here example. Large Panini Maker. Brand new in the box. Never been out of the box, you know? And this is the kind of stuff that was just in that house. <clears throat> How much is a band, brand new Panini Maker gonna go for an auction? I don't know, but look at Wolfgang Puck, so.
and everyone in Cleveland, we love Panini. So I'm assuming that should go pretty good. But we appreciate everybody watching this series of a Hoarder's House. We have lots of great more adventures coming up. And with this Hoarder House, you know, just want to let everyone know, most of the time we would have went through the house a lot better and got to go through everything and been more organized and more gentle with all the items out there. But unfortunately, we were in a very small time frame. The house was moving into a foreclosure. Once the house goes into the foreclosure process, the uh, court, bank, whatever, they lock down the asset and there's no more access to it. So that's why we had a very short window of time. That's why we went in the house, took everything we could. And trust me, I would love to spend more time going through things a little bit more thorough and found more treasures because I know there's some more treasures still to be unearthed there. But we got everything we could and we spent a lot of time there. And obviously, yeah, we should have wore masks and gloves and I wish I had them. It just, we weren't prepared. It popped up right away and we took care of, you know, the situation presented itself. We needed to take care of it and we did what we could, got everything that we could out of there that we wanted for value wise. And there was a lot of great stuff there. And I didn't even get a chance to show you guys the garage or some motorcycles that we got out of there and sold, but it was an awesome, awesome hoarder house. There's pros and cons with doing this kind of work, but this one was definitely a pro. And trust me, we got lots of great stuff, a lot of other great houses that we're going to, storage lockers that we're buying. And as you guys seen what the hails, we got a Harley Davidson that'll be coming up for auction. So just keep an eye out, keep subscribing, keep watching, and lots of great stuff coming up. Thanks, we appreciate you. And without you guys, we're not gonna be here making these videos. So thanks for watching.